showcase overall and your thoughts. I'm going to start off because I, I know Brody kind of chimed in a bit and I want to go through the screen and just punch him. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> but I, everyone keeps saying this was a bad showcase. No, I don't think it was a bad I disagree. showcase. I completely disagree. I think it any showcase right now in these times was tough. Okay. I think what they showed here, there were some surprises here. It had, it's like they started off strong with what we knew we were going to see, what people wanted. And I think that was the right choice. Then you have the games in there, a few surprises, one game in particular, and that's the medium that completely showcases oh, yeah. the ability of the console, uh, yep. the Xbox X Series X, right? Um, as well as then ending it with what people were wanting to see um, or wanting to happen, and now the confirmation that Fable Fable's happening, right? A Fable game is in the works. So yep. I think the pacing of the showcase overall was really well. In a moment, we'll go through, uh, we'll name off some of the games um, in order of as they appeared, and I'll just get your quick thoughts. But overall on the showcase, Brody, I know that you weren't too happy with the showcase. Uh, Aaron, what did you think? Uh, I thought it was fine. I, I, when we when we were reacting to it uh, a couple of days ago, um, I remember I remember just being entertained. You know, yeah. like I thought it was it was just fine. Yeah, they didn't show a lot of gameplay for certain games. There were a lot of CG trailers, um, but they showed a ton of games. They said every single thing that they were showing. Or I don't know if this was from the top of the show. I can't remember exactly. But I remember at one point they were like, every game you're about to see is going to be on Game Pass, which I think is awesome. Um, Medium looks great. The studio is called Bloober. I can't stop saying it. It is amazing. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, and and you did see gameplay from that. I remember seeing like locked camera perspective for, yes. for that game. So it looks super interesting. I'm very into it and it's spooky. And apparently I'm a psychopath when it comes to scary stuff. <laughs> so it. it's right up your alley. Uh, it's so right, right, up, your right alley. up my alley. Um, and then, you know, obviously we had Halo, but I think, and I, and I'll, and I'll, I'll throw it to Brody to ask what he'll think of this, but I said this when we reacted to it, what do you think if they were to swap the fable reveal with the Halo no. gameplay and their position no. in the show, no. do you think that the show ends up better for it? Cause I think so. I think if you open up with a big guns, new fable is coming. Yeah. It's only a CG trailer, but here's the announcement. Mm -hmm. Then here's all this other stuff. Okay. Other stuff, other stuff. Halo gameplay to end off the show. There you go. Thanks for what thanks for stopping by. Like, do you think that helps the showcase overall end up being a little more hype if the fable reveal and the halo gameplay is swapped in their positions? I think I would I would say a little bit. I mean, like you're you're holding on to anticipation. It's it's like any good storytelling, you know. Uh, you, yeah. you need to have a climax near the end. If you put the climax at the beginning, it's just Danny Walt the entire rest of the way through. So right. I believe, yeah, if you if you're looking at it from an a hype um uh, just like, oh, this is exciting showcase. Yes. At the same time, there were still my issues with it was that it was literally just like, hey, here's a bunch of games that you can play not on Xbox. Um, and even though the Xbox is the most powerful console, most powerful console, buzzword, buzzword, most powerful console. Also, mm -hmm. you don't need to buy it to play these games, but it's the most powerful console. And that yeah. was my issue with the showcase is they seem like they're just, they don't, it just seems so half uh, I don't want to swear half butted, right? Like, yeah, just, like, like we just we like it's like it just felt like here's some games, like cool, cool, but like uh, you know, we we know people are gonna play our games elsewhere now, and that's not that's, our focus. Like to me, it felt like it improved that. But, I, I feel like that is what they what they want though. I it was like, a yeah. showcase. They just it want people games. to play the games. And it was yeah. a game showcase. I saw Alex kind of shaking her head um about <laughs> switching that order as well. Uh Alex, I'm curious what you thought about that. Switching Halo with Fable. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, I, I think every showcase now has like this expectation that at the end there's going to be some really awesome reveal. So I think it is best to keep Fable at the end. And yeah. I like what uh, Sprint Speed wrote. Um, I am, I am oh, if they don't show Halo as the first thing, that's the only thing anyone will think about. Yes. Until it comes on screen. So I think that, I, I think yeah. the way they had it was fine. Um, something that I was going to mention is that every time I watch like game showcase, I, or game showcases like, you know, E3 and uh, like things like that, I'm never for some reason excited for Xbox games. I, I don't know what it is about Xbox games and the things that they show or like the kinds of games they have. Like when I was going through the games, I just, none of them were really grabbing at me. Uh, Medium did a little bit. 
-hmm. but nothing where I'm just like, wow, that's sick. I can't, I can't wait. I don't even remember what medium was. Like that's how forgettable it was to me. What? Okay, Brody, maybe you just have a really poor memory. Let's let's talk about the game, a medium, because the medium yeah. actually was this whole. At first, I thought it was like something like Slenderman. I was like, is this Slenderman? Because you hear yeah. this creepy voice. You see the character walking through, and this voice, really creepy voice, yeah. is talking to her. And I'm like, okay, is this like Slenderman? Because you're seeing this really thin figure, yeah. kind of the shadows going. Mm. And then it was revealed that no, it's the medium, but also they are rendering two different environments simultaneously throughout yep. the game they showed you the gameplay where you're walking through and you're able to switch from one environment to the other they're uh, showing it split down the middle the characters are walking demo. through it yep. is it what it's awesome it's awesome that, that right there showed me and you know i like the playstation um the showcase as well but out of the PlayStation showcase, there wasn't a lot that showcased what the hardware could do. For well, Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank, yeah, because of going through the Vortex. But I think yeah. for this, for me, was more of like a, wow, that's something that the Xbox will be able to manage. That's insane to me. And I think out yeah. of all the games here, that was the one game that stood out for me because it showcased what the hardware can do. Yeah, I like I medium. Mean, it looks cool. I, I guess if that mechanic surprised you, you haven't played Titanfall too, then. I played a little Titanfall, but not a lot. Then you might you might not have gotten to the part where you literally switch between different times, and to, you have a device that switches between the past and the present. It's the same mechanic, so that's why I think that's why to me I'm like, oh, it's Titanfall tech demo, cool. Okay, so you were unimpressed because of that. Well, let let's talk <laughs> down. Let's talk about the other games that they showed. They showed State of Decay three, which was a weird announcement because it showed this girl by the campfire i was like blair witch project maybe something yeah yeah there. The and then, yeah it was <laughs> infected animals so infected animals state of decay is coming so that you know state of decay if it doesn't interest you it doesn't interest you anyone like state of decay here in chat anyone i don't know that state of decay is my my issue with the way that they presented the state of decay trailer is that like the game's not going to look that no, good. it won't look like that you it know? won't look like that it, the, the game looks a little more indie which is okay like it has its cult following which is fine it's just that like that's that's one of those situations where there was like that cg trailer that gets you super excited for a game and almost almost deceptively promises you that the game will like be this cool when i don't think it will be but then you had a game like, you know, not to get off topic, we will get back to State of Decay, but like, you know, like Everwild, uh, I believe that was a name, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure like that's what the game will look like, you know, yeah. when we play it. Um, so I don't know. I haven't played the State of Decay games, though. I know that there is like a cult following for them. Um, there, but there, I guess it is yeah. it is cool that they're doing infected animals. I don't know why we don't get that enough in these in these zombie it's, games, you yeah, know? Games. Like imagine yeah. being in the woods and a zombie Boy, like bear or zombie deer <laughs> coming after you. That'd be terrifying. I'm down for that. So after State of Decay, they showed Forza Motorsport, which of course, beautiful. Another but we, didn't really see, we didn't really see anything much of it. And then yeah. Everwild as well, which gave me um, major Breath of the Wild uh, vibes yeah. mixed with Avatar The Last Airbender. It just looked beautiful in terms of taking a different approach to art style and that's one of the things i do appreciate about xbox showcases when you do look at their games their games in terms of art style they look very different than each other um yeah. and i appreciate that yeah. after that they had but, this uh, yeah go ahead rare hasn't made a good game since 2005 though oh buddy wow okay but buddy. just because you don't like the games though didn't they work see they did see a thieves yeah. right yeah, exactly. Which is, which is like is like a an ocean no man's sky that hasn't fixed itself like no man's sky has, but it's still there's a big been, game. There's been so many updates. I I admit at release, Sea of Thieves wasn't what everyone thought it would be, but like No Man's Sky, like you mentioned, they have you they have put out a lot of updates um, that I think fix a lot of gameplay, make it more of a game that you want to keep playing. So by the way, not yeah. a console seller. Uh, just shut it. Uh, <laughs> I agree. Your hate for rare. Um, he's implying that Banjo Kazooie was a top tier game. Yes, Sprint Speed. That is what Brody is implying. No, I'm talking about Viva Pinata. That oh, was the best. Game. 
I was still thinking actually with you on that. These are so out of Oversea of Thieves. Oh, gosh. <laughs> But they had as well, <laughs> tell me why they showed um this, tell me why is kind of like a, what do you call them? It's like a story driven game. Like Life is Strange. Like a tell story. Story. Exactly. Oh, yeah. um, this was the weird one. Ori and the Will of the Wisp that they revealed will be coming uh, to yeah. the Xbox Series X with 4K 120 frames. But for Ori doing like, for Ori, I don't know for it's me. A, it's but, a very visually impressive yeah, game. It's beautiful. Yeah. It yeah. is, but I don't I don't see because it's so impressive right now. I don't see the difference 4K at 120 frames per second would make. But they when did it comes play, out, play it 4K 120 and then play the 60 yeah, FPS version, to. and you'll yeah. be you'll realize like mm -hmm. how much it actually helps. They're I'll saying it's going to be like a special version too, so they might yeah. add like new events or something. Yeah, they're awesome. going to be adding some more story based events in the game, um, as well as the Outer Worlds, which I don't know. Uh, have you guys played Outer Worlds? Because no. I didn't know that they were doing more content for this game. Nope. Not my cup of tea kind of game. All all of stuff all just not Xbox fun. games. You just they they come out and then it turns out there was like 10 other ones before them. <laughs> <laughs> Outer Worlds is, Outer Worlds is cross-platform. Yeah, oh, okay. it's, it's cross-platform, so you could play that too. One of the ones that really I think caught a lot of people's eye, this game's not necessarily for me, but avowed by Obsidian, Obsidian. <laughs> Um, I think that really got a lot of people in the community's attention just because it kind of looked like a Skyrim. I remember chat was going while we were watching it and they're like, Skyrim, Skyrim, Skyrim. What, yeah, what, yeah. What is this? <laughs> um, but do you and think he did the Doctor Strange hand thingy, which was cool. Yeah. So I think, I think <laughs> uh, Obsidian's Air Avowed would look interesting. We, again, didn't see much of uh, the gameplay. Uh, and, and that was a main feat here. We did see much gameplay. But let me remind everyone, remember when PlayStation had their E3 conference in 2018 and it was just a super cut of trailers and we didn't really see a lot of gameplay from a lot of those games. Do you remember? That was when they showed us The Last of Us. Wasn't that the whole like demos and stuff? Ghost of Tsushima. No, there wasn't a lot of demos in that gameplay. I in remember that, that was the Spider-Man Sinister Six thing, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. There was not a lot of gameplay in that. So I feel like we're we're kind of biased. I think gamers no, are kind of biased. That, that, see, there's, there's, there's some flaw right there in that logic. The difference is that the things that they show with just trailers and no gameplay are already established brands that have a track record of okay, top quality fair, games, fair, whereas yeah. these are like, well, I, I don't know anything about these. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so, that's that's a fair way to put it. Is that like well, you know? What about Psychonauts though? Weren't you excited for that uh, Jack Black? Jack oh yeah. Black. Well, I, I don't like Jack Black, but I, Psychonauts <laughs> too is cool. That is cool. Whoa. Get Whoa. off the call. What? Get what? off the call. <laughs> this is it. We're finding a new co-host. Hey, he's a, crying. <laughs> he's a good singer. He's a good singer, but his comedy is terrible if he can't swear. His comedy relies on swearing. I'm I'm this close. I'm this close, bro. Show me a joke he's made that's funny without you, swearing. I, school of Thank you. Have you not seen Jumanji? He's hilarious. Oh, yeah, he's funny Jumanji, actually. It's Why so would I funny. watch Jumanji? Oh, oh God. God. you are Brody. missing out, bro. You're hurting my. <laughs> I, I might just leave this call <laughs> because no, we're one of you good guys. Podcast a hot take. <laughs> it was one podcast on the hot take, dude. Seriously. How, he's a national treasure. I'd pr protect him at all costs. Anyway. I, I didn't. I didn't. I, again, I, songs are cool. I like the songs, but again, that's the, unreal. movies nay. That's unreal. <laughs> In case they um, had, of course, Psychonauts two that we just mentioned, Destiny two um, with the Beyond Light hitting uh, Xbox Game Pass in November, Stalker two. The Medium, which we mentioned, the Gunk, which was a really weird name. For a game, oh um, Warhammer for forty thousand Dark Tide, which is going to be coming to the Xbox Series X. Tetris Effect Connected. That was a weird, weird I'm trailer. Weird why do trailer. we? Why do we love Tetris so much? Like, why is there so much new Tetris coming out? <laughs> <laughs> Tetris is lots of. Uh, Tetris I mean, that's work. a great game, but like, why does it keep coming back? <laughs> Tetris is fire. <laughs> classic it's a classic um but i have to say like that was a weird trailer that just showed random people on screen you didn't know 
who they were. Although I will point out James Chen from the Street Fighter community, commentator for Street Fighter, he was actually in that trailer too. Um, Fantasy Star Online I, 2, New Genesis, I've never played a Fantasy Star game. So mm -hmm. I know people are excited about I that. No, I did. No. Crossfire X, which looked really cool. Have not played Crossfire before. Yeah. And then Remedy is working on the story mode for it, which is interesting. I'm down for that. It looked very control, which makes sense for Remedy. Um, yeah. It's like yeah. they're just going to be using those same mechanics and putting it into Crossfire X. So mm -hmm. that'll be interesting to see. They also talked about uh, Forza Horizon 4 and see if these will be enhanced for the Xbox Series X. And, of course, they ended it off with that Fable reveal, which was just so good as a Fable fan. I was like, is this Fable? Like, with the fairy flying around, and yeah. then you just see her being eaten by the frog. <laughs> uh, and, and that was the best thing about it, because I love that Fable has that humor, and I never want to see that go away. It's not a Fable game if there's no humor in it. I'm sorry, but are we just going to casually skip over probably the best game besides Halo? Grounded? What? Oh, yes, Grounded! What? completely forgot about grounded that is the only other game that i was interested in uh, i mean i guess uh psychonauts but grounded what? dude that game looks phenomenal what is it is it the fact that it gives you yeah, I mean, I shrunk, shrunk the kids vibes or i mean it looks what interesting it looks fun i'm just so confused how that's the best game I besides halo for you <laughs> like, like so I, medium I actually... looks super interesting you know like i mean fable you didn't see anything but like ever while the vowed really like grounded is the one i guess because they showed gameplay maybe that's that's where it what, what I, yeah, so the you. only other one that i actually can tell what the game is gonna be the trailer the trailer <laughs> it looks fun i mean the, i love the the humor in it i love the joke of like if you're waiting for the biggest game of the year yeah. wait for cyberpunk i thought that was awesome <laughs> um but uh i mean it, it just i don't know it looks like it was just one of those games where you throw it on if you have game pass for like half an hour because you got nothing better to do i'm sure there's gonna be some fun in it you know like there's gonna be some good times to be had but the best game besides halo i i just that's i uh, i gotta disagree i think for me it's because i've been i saw something about this a while ago actually um, yeah and i'm like oh this looks interesting i love that whole like bugs life kind of perspective yeah, uh, of being this tiny little thing and seeing the world from a perspective you're not used to. I mean, a lot of these other games, we're seeing stuff like whether they're they're going to be smoosh pulse games or not, but we're seeing stuff that we've kind of just seen before. I mean, like, right. uh, you know, with De Destiny, it's just it's Destiny. I mean, the expansion um, for uh, Outer Worlds, whatever, cool. Like, it's it's all based off stuff like that we've seen before. It's all shooters. Um, we saw no gameplay from half these other games, like Avowed in that. Yeah, this is gameplay. And it's something that we don't, we get to see survival games, sure, but not something that completely shifts your perspective on like an entire world. I don't know. It could be just a personal thing that I'm really excited about, uh, about this one, but it, that's the only other one that caught my eye. Yeah, actually, Fair yeah, I, I agree with you. I, I'm kind of like rewatching the trailer and you're right. Like that is honestly something it that I, I don't think I've seen done before. Like as a whole game, normally it's just maybe like one level in a game. Yeah. yeah. But it to have it be tomorrow, a right? Oh, yeah, it's it up tomorrow. Yeah, that's what Simon RL yeah, beta, I think. as well. Is it multiplayer? I didn't even yep. is it... <gasps> guys, we should play grounded together. You fight giant oh, spiders good. in it, so I'm out. Uh... <laughs> Just the so kind of like fight, creepy yeah. stuff. <laughs> that's where like I draw the line. That's <laughs> where I draw the line. It's not spider. I got, yep, I got <laughs> I got arachnophobia, so I draw the line there. <laughs> I think Grounded, yeah, definitely one of those games I'll try out because I have Game Pass. But uh, I think the real winner, and Aaron, you mentioned this earlier, is Game Pass. From this whole showcase, oh, yeah. Game Pass yeah. is the winner. Uh, for any of you that ha have not, like, Brody, do you even have Game Pass? Alex, do you have I Game do. Pass? I you don't. do. But, like, I think this is, like, something that was a huge selling point for Xbox, uh, Xbox Game Pass. Um, and having these games, most of them available on Xbox Game Pass, either day one release or coming out after it releases. Alex, is that something that, like, what you saw in the showcase and the value that you're getting for Game Pass, is that something that interests you? Like, what were your thoughts on that? Actually, yeah, you know, this whole conversation uh, actually did shift my perspective a bit. Um, if anything, yeah, it seemed like Game Pass was the the big thing with this showcase. And, like, the fact that there are all these games, and, like, how I was saying, like, none of them were really, like, breathtaking to me. There weren't any that just, like, jumped out at me. 
mm-hmm. makes me want to get Game Pass. Because, like, yeah, all these games look kind of quirky and fun, but, like, enough that, you know, I could, like, pay $15 a month for it and then be able to try all these games and not have to, like, yeah. really invest into it. So, yeah, um, yeah, actually, like, now after that, it does actually seem like a great showcase. And this was just from me listening to you guys. <laughs> there we go. We want to roll. Yeah. I, <laughs> only thing I would have liked to see more, just to cap it off, is a little bit more on XCloud um, and updates on yeah. that. Because again, yeah. as as you know, I'm 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 all for this. I think there's a place for streaming stuff. Um, as someone that uses Stadia, uh, and if XCloud can be better, I'm going to switch to that. So, uh, especially if it ties in. Well, and I, I think pretty sure it's confirmed. We'll tie in with the Game Pass. Um, <laughs> So uh, to me, I, I really was hoping to see a bit more on, on xCloud. So I was a bit disappointed on that. But well, it is a game showcase. They did tease at the end that there will be more, obviously, announcements uh, because we didn't hear from all of their mm-hmm. however many studios. Um, plus, I feel like we're just going to get more about the hardware when we get those prices from both Xbox and PlayStation. I feel like we're, we're going to see much more about like what the hardware and what systems services will be coming when they launch next gen um but yeah i feel like it wasn't as bad as everyone and brody wants to think so just suck it up (laughs) (laughs) but yeah that's it for us today on episode three of the squad cast but it is not over because if you happen to tune in in the middle of this well guess what we're gonna have the vods up on our youtube channel and you can find that youtube channel at squad state as well as we'll be streaming throughout the week. Tomorrow, I'll be streaming some Paper Mario from 12 to 4. That's going to happen on... Tomorrow's Tuesday. I was about to say on Monday. Today's Monday. (laughs) Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, I'll be streaming Paper Mario uh, from 12 to 4. And then Thursday and Friday, Brody, you're going to be streaming from 1 to 5. Is that correct? 1 to 5. And you'll be doing some team matches or viewer matches on Rocket League? If we get enough people, we do some viewer games. Yes. All right, sweet. And then, Alex, we're streaming uh, some league this weekend. Yes, Saturday, Sunday, 2 to 6, your guys' time. <laughs> your, your guys' yeah. time. That's Eastern yeah. Your guys' you, time. Yeah, wherever Alex, you guys are. <laughs> Alex is all in Vegas time, and we we set her off when we're, like, awake and all happy, and she's, like, all tired. And yeah. Wants to be back. <laughs> um, but, yeah, and then you could also find uh, us if you have any – you know extra points to talk about these discussions make sure to tweet squad at squad state or reach out to us individually you can find myself at this is camco aaron's at caboose ek brody's at leafx and alex is at rad puppy so you have all the goes to go and find us and even give us some advice on what we should talk about next podcast which will be coming back on monday next week so until then guys we'll see you bye